Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Transfer Story. There's a lot to cover since Friday's video, so let's get straight down to it. Guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it, and let's go. So the first player I'm going to cover is one from my own club, it's Lewis Dunk. He's been rumoured with a £40 million bid from Chelsea. And... Okay, from a Brighton perspective and from a Brighton fans perspective, I would be sad to let him go. But we've also got to think of it that we've held him back for nearly three windows, I think it is, Arsenal came in through. But apparently Chelsea have come with this £40 million bid. Now, I'd be made for Lewis if he, you know, did go and make it for Chelsea. As I said, I'd be upset if he did go. But £40 million for Lewis Dunn. You know, he has came through the Brighton Academy. He really is uh, one of our own. And when I say one of our own, I mean Brighton, obviously. But to actually see him go, as I said, I'd be really upset. But let's go over a few stats about Lewis. He's only positions the centre back, so, you know, that's just the one position. He's got you no know, other positions that I'll do cover with some players. But, you know, his professional right foot, he has been called up for England and played for England once. I think for this move for Lewis, I think it'd be, you know, a great move for Lewis and hopefully getting him a few more England call ups. But, 28 years of age, if he is going to move, do it now. I don't want to, you know, sit here in about three years' time and Lewis didn't make that move. I know I'll question some players making the move, but if he feels like it's the right time for him to go and move, then feel free to do so. I wish him all the very best. I miss him in a Brighton shirt. But, as I said, if you want to go and do it, please feel free to go and do it. And uh, good luck to Lewis Dunk if he does move. Now I do so it's been rumoured 40 million. I've also seen something that Chelsea have not made an approach yet. I think this deal might be a lot closer than what people are thinking though. Yeah, Lewis Dunn could be on the move to Chelsea. As I said, fair play to the lad and also best of luck Lewis if you do go. Jack Greenish has been rumoured to Spurs. Now I did cover him in I think it's my last transfer story and very much all the you know May Night do want him or May Night fans do want him. But he's been rumoured to Spurs as well. Jack to me, I think he benefits Spurs more than United. I think he'd be slightly more first team regular. Obviously they got they've sold the lights of Ericsson and they sold the lights of you know, quite a few players over the Jose Mourinho period. Jack Greenish to fit into the Tottenham squad. I think Jack could do perfect at Tottenham. It's going to be quite interesting for Tottenham for, you know, if they do go for the likes of Jack Greenish, see how he ends up. But over United and Spurs, I'll probably choose Spurs for Jack. As I say, I'll just think fit in there a bit more. Don't forget the likes of United, they've got Paul Pogba, Bruno Fernandes, and they're playing Champions League football next season, which Spurs don't think they are. So Jack Greenish does it like on his way to Spurs. Felipe Anderson from West Ham. Now, he looks like he's going to be moving to Arsenal. Now, Arsenal, Felipe Anderson, this can only be good for both parties. For the likes of Pepe, Aubameyang, you know, and play Felipe on the I think Pepe plays on the left, so he'll play on the right. As I said, can only be good for both parties. I do think that Felipe Anderson will benefit Arsenal as well, more cases than one. I think Felipe is a really good player. I think in a West Ham shirt, really do sometimes to see his benefits, but I've seen him play, I've seen him play on form. I do think he's a good player. This could only go one way. And that's up for both parties if this move does go through. Could we see Felipe in an Arsenal shirt come the... I think it's the 1st of October our window closes. But could we see him in an Arsenal shirt? Put it down in the comments below. With the likes of Thiago, now Thiago moves to Liverpool. I've seen that this deal will be going through. 
after Farming in its Champions League campaign is over. Now I've got Olympiacos, no I haven't, I've got Leo, Le Leon in the Champions League semi-final. So if I make it through to the final, this still more will likely then go through. But Thiago, Liverpool player, there is going to be some really good players at Liverpool come next season, which is less than four weeks away as I'm recording this. But Thiago does look like he could be on the move to Liverpool. Liverpool fans, please fit, tell me how you feel about Thiago going to Liverpool and would you be happy to see him in a Liverpool shirt? And also, if you don't mind, who do you think he will replace? Chris Smalling. Now, Chris Smalling has been rumoured to Newcastle, but he's also been rumoured to Rome as well uh, in Italy. Chris Smalling is one of these players that I think ever since, pretty much since Sir Alex Ferguson's left, that he has struggled to get into the first team at Manchester United. As I've said, he has been rumoured with Newcastle and he has been rumoured with Rome. I've also seen that the Chris Smalling deal is closer to running in Newcastle. I do think Chris Smalling it is time to go, but what he's done for England and Man United in general, I think is superb. I do think that the likes of, you know, where Man United is trying to get to now, top four, I think Chris Smalling has just missed out just slightly. If I had to choose a club between Newcastle and Rome, I'll probably go Newcastle for Chris Morning. Only the matter of fact that Newcastle, they probably could do with Chris Morning a bit more. And, you know, fair enough if it does go to Rome. But, as I said, I can only see him benefiting Newcastle a lot more. Gabriel. Now, I spoke to you about Gabriel in my last transfer story about going to United. Well, what I've read is that Gabriel is cl close to a deal at Arsenal so we will be going to London now Gabriel you know being a centre back only 22 years of age he is you know still young only got that one position of the centre back I can only see you know Arsenal benefit it from this move I know they've had a lot about you know centre backs and problems and you know but club never go throughout a season with problems, trust me. I've been around long enough to experience that. But with the likes of Gabriel joining Arsenal, David Louise, if you're an Arsenal fan, please tell me who you think you will replace over at Arsenal. Uh, I know that there's been a few, you know, rumours in the air. And I also know that the fact of, you know, they've been defending problems as well. But, you know, G Gabriel does it like on his way to Arsenal. I went to see him in the Premier League, only the age of 22 as well. Tottenham are close to signing Joe Hart on a free transfer. Now, the time this video comes out, this deal could already be over the line. As I said, it's a free transfer after being out of contract at Burnley. Now, with the likes of Joe Hart being free of contracted, you know, great signing for Tottenham. I've seen about a two-year deal as well, so does that mean Larice and Joe Hart, number one, number two keeper. Obviously, you're a Tottenham fan, please feel free to put it down in the comments below. But with the likes of Joe Hart joining Tottenham, I can see benefits from both parties. And you could see Joe Hart getting back into the England team as well. Now, my last bit for today is that Man United won the race to sign Ben White from, Bright, uh, from Brighton. Yet again, my own club. Yet again, over one of our Defenders that done especially well for leagues last season. Now, Ben White to me, I think if Lewis Dunk goes, he will stay, but apparently, Man United have joined the race. And obviously, if Ben White does go, fair play to the lad and good luck to him as well, also. But, you know, United have joined the race, still young, probably won't get into the first team straight away, but, you know, joined the race at Manchester United anyway. But anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end, guys. You know what to do. So a big fun, you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Cheers now.